Hey y'all, it's Mary and this is Mary Catherine Loves Cats and this is Memorial Day and welcome to Mask Monday. I'm going to do these eye masks and that's really all I'm going to do today. I've got lots going on, busy, 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 but the Patchology masks are wonderful and um, they're a little bougie and expensive. So let me, Blue is sitting down here. The Anytime Perk Up, it says, okay, so I'm going to put them on rejuvenating eye gels and then I'll tell you a little bit more about them. You know, these kind of packages, sometimes I can't get open. But that's just me. I can't get much of anything open. Okay, so when you open it, it looks like that inside. Blue, are you right here? Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, so there is a, um, there are gel masks, and there is plastic on each side of the gel mask. And they're sort of, they're, oh, these are pretty clear. They're pretty slimy. Oops, okay, so hang on, hang on, Blue. Let me get that on. All right, I think that one's on. Maybe a little bit high, but if you can't blink well, then that's on, on high. Okay, Blue, hang on. These are very refreshing and lovely and nice. Okay. And, um, okay. Let's see what it says about them. I don't really have much for you today. It is Memorial Day. I hope that everybody is enjoying their holiday weekend and thanking all of those that have given up their lives to protect our country. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's something that we should talk about, but it's hard to talk about, but that's what Memorial, Memorial Day is for. And a lot of people go visit, you know, their family graves and such like that. And, um, you know, I just wanna, thank everybody for their service thank their families so this is rejuvenating rejuvenating eye gels patchology flash patch it's called what way up here at the top flash patch place one pair of gel onto clean of gels onto clean dry under eye area for five minutes oh that's all or longer if desired it says okay Discard after use and massage remaining serum into skin. There's not a lot of serum in this, but these are um, rather expensive. Like I said, they're in this nice um, tray. Blue, goodness sakes. Hey y'all, I'm covered by cats, covered by cats. Everybody's mad at me, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you about that in a second. All right, all right, Blue, go. Blue, you have to go one way or the other. I'm sorry, y'all, okay. Oh, he's so mad at me, y'all. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you all this. I had shown you this from a Timu haul. And you had to snap that on. And, you know, it is it it is what it is. But it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> so, um, I thought you could hang hangers in here. And you could do five on each side. And then you would save room in your closet. But you know what? This, so that's ten hangers. It really doesn't take up any less space than if you just hang the hangers on the, the bar. So it was suggested to me, I, I, I maybe was it Myrna? Myrna, did you tell me that she would hang scarves in here? One of y'all did. Um, one of y'all lovely subscribers said that you would hang scarves and that is perfect because then you could put them in there and see this, you can turn the, and you could turn it this way and it would take less space in your closet. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know that um, I have, I have scarves um, yeah, maybe not that many, but you know, cause some scarves I have are winter scarves and those would be too thick. But anyway, just a thing from Timu that I got for cheap. And then also I did try this lippy that I got from Chic Beauty Box. This is beauty for certain. And I did see that different people got different, um, colors and mine just says the number 26 and matte liquid lipstick. And it really is um, just what it says, it is my, the one I have is, um, to me, it looked like a concealer and that's exactly what it looks like. It's dark for me. Um, but I put some on my hand and then I could not get it off. And so I put it on my lips cause I wanted to see, and it, it just made me look like a, you know, like a blank slate. So it would be great for that. 
if you really want to do your lips in a, in a certain color that maybe your lips get in the way of the color, or if you want to do something dramatic like, um, you know, a blue shade or something like that, you know, for, for me, a costume kind of a thing, um, that would bring out the color of, you know, instead of getting mixed up with your lips kind of thing. But um, it was, I used a lip scrub and it was very, very difficult to get this off. Um, so if I had this in a color that I really liked, that I would wear, you know, on a daily basis or that I would wear for a special occasion, a pretty color, I'll have to look into it. This is great. It'll, it won't come off. So it won't, you know, come off on your cups. At first, when you put it on, it's liquid, dries quickly, and it won't come off. So I wanted to tell you all about that because um, even though that's not a color that I care for, this particular one, I would, I would like this in other colors. And the other thing I want to talk to you all about was, um, at first I got a little mad, um, but uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't really stay mad um, very long, y'all. So, um, Walmart. I got an email from Walmart Beauty Box, and what the email was, was charging me for the summer box. And um, I was like, uh, wait a second. I was one of those people that got charged like the $700, um, back in with the spring box and was given a hundred dollar gift card which was very very nice um and then they told me i would get spring and summer for free so they were charging me for summer so i it, it, on the email you know a lot of times when you get an email from a company it says do not respond to this email at the bottom of that email it said you can respond to this email or you could email another address <clears throat> so i responded to the email and I said, I wasn't supposed to be charged for this. And so then you immediately get back an email from Walmart saying, you know, that they've got received your email and, you know, they'll get back in touch within 24 hours or whatever they say. And, um, hey, Smudge. And then, um, and then uh, they did respond and they gave me a refund. But now I don't know because of that. See, when I had gotten my notice about the spring box I got an invoice that said zero dollars so now I don't have an invoice so I don't know if I'm going to get this summer box or not so just wanted to tell you that okay and I got I received this in the mail in the mail and um this is the pharmacy green clean and hey smudge they're just uh, don't see them for weeks and then they just all come up okay <laughs> and um there are two there is, this is, a, see how flat that is? This is a nice little, um, you know, like a one-time use kind of a thing. And um, it's a cleansing balm, makeup melt away cleansing balm. You know, I love a cleansing balm, a good cleansing balm. I haven't tried the pharmacy, but this is this, two samples of the same thing. This one's a little bit bigger. You can see it does have a false bottom to it. Um, it is, says at the top, yeah, it's the same, it's the same stuff, but here it is. Um, it's green and a balm, it's sort of like when you dig into it, it's sort of waxy looking, um, but it's not waxy feeling, but it's thick and it takes your eye makeup off fabulously. I use it and then I, you know, I take on my eye makeup and then I use it all over my face too. So, um, I do love a nice, um, uh, cleansing balm and, um, uh, Laura, which is uh, Food Makeup Skin, she had actually um, been sent an email or something about this, and um, she sent it to me. So thank you, Laura. I'll put her below so you can find her. She uh, is active on YouTube and Instagram. So um, this was a nice thing to get. I did not see this um, available. Um, you know, sometimes you'll see some samples you can get for free. I did not see it, so I'm happy to get it. Nice. This is, like I said, this is probably a one-time use, and this will be nice for traveling. So thank you, Laura, for putting my name in there, or my email, or whatever she did. So I, I got it. So thank you. And that's really about it, but I don't know if you saw um, my video from yesterday evening. I did a Glossy Box outlet. I have, I have several of them. And um, I, there's something at the end of that video. So I was at work on Saturday and 
somebody came in with some kittens and I said, you want to give one of those kittens to me? And they said, no. So he said, he said, no, my wife will kill me. <laughs> well, by the time he got seen by the doctor, we were very, very busy and everybody there, we were really covered up and people had to wait forever. Uh, he had talked to his wife and they had several at home and she said, give that kitten to Mary. So here we go. <laughs> we've got, we've got a new, new baby. <laughs> We've got a new baby. The boys are, mm, she's, uh, she doesn't care about the boys. She's, uh, they hiss at her right in her face. Uh, Smudge has swatted at her one time, um, but he didn't do it again. So hissing, growling, and she's okay with it. She's just, you know, she's just a baby. She's seven weeks old. Um, she has some issues. There, she's not, I don't let her be around the boys very much because she has um, an eye infection. So um, she's having medicine for that. So she's been living in the bathroom, except when I'm home and can take care of her. She's um, She does like to lay on my lap, but she does, she's not a big holder. Um, the way that she's colored will change um, over time. This is what happened with Blue. Um, Blue and Smudge are mutts, as is Camille. I've named her Cammie, Camille, and um, been been working with a few different names and that one seems to be the one. It may change by, you know, next time I talk to you about her, but um, Smudge and uh, Blue um, uh, look, and their uh, sister siblings, they uh, not so much Smudge, but Blue and the sisters look like ragdoll cats. So that's what we say. They're not you know, like, like ragdolls that you pay for. So this cat is, her brother was short hair and she is long hair. So I don't know if she's gonna stay long hair. This looks like long hair and her coloring, um, it, like I said, it will change, but her coloring is the coloring of what they would call a lilac point. So um, like blue is a seal point because he's got chocolate colored ears and paws and tail. So her tail is um, a gray and um, her, ears have gray. They're not full. They're not full, but um, they would call this color um, lilac point. And um, uh, not so much a rag doll. She could be. She could be. They're a uh, rag doll um, in her blood. But um, a lot of you all call my blue a Siamese. And that is most uh, common of what her coloring is would be Siamese. So um, but she doesn't have a Siamese-shaped face. Um, so, you know, she's a mutt. She just is a barn cat is what she is. She, um, her mama, um, uh, the, the guy that brought her in is a longtime customer, and he has a farm. A lot of people here have farms, and they have their cats, and their cats, you know, have babies because they need the, they need the kittens. They, or they need the cats for, um, to take care of creatures. See, she's a, she jumps out of my hands and falls to the floor. But anyway, <laughs> so um, she's not, they have socialized her. They had given her a name and I just didn't, the name wasn't a name that I wanted to name her. So I've changed her name. So um, we'll see how it goes. It's going pretty well. Holiday weekend is good because I'm home a lot to um, see about her. She's eating quite a bit um, and she cries constantly unless she's right with me most of the time so but she is pretty bold and she um you know has been playing and she um uh, even though she's sick a little bit she doesn't act like she's sick so that's very good so that is my new baby and um just wish me luck y'all wish me luck because I was wanting a baby so bad and when he said when um the technician came out of the room and said, you know, Mr. So-and-so is going to give you that cat. I was like, what? I was like, uh-oh, what about buyers the remorse? Because by that time, hours had gone by. And I had, not that I changed my mind, but he had said no. So I had that in my head, no. So I was like, uh, you know, so, <laughs> so yeah, she's mine. And I'm very happy to have her here. So please don't misunderstand me. Um, but it's one, of, it's a double-edged sword. I would love to have a kitten. I would not love to have a kitten. You know what I mean? So, so hopefully um, everything's going to go well with, with the boys. And eventually, <laughs> I know it's going to take a little time. So thanks for stopping by, y'all. And count your blessings. Bye-bye.